Hi folks, John O'Leary from uh, Horse Problems Australia and um, welcome to the subject of join up. Traditionally join up is the system that people see happening around the world uh, in ver at various events and shows um, but you may not be aware that there can be other systems of join up. This, this particular piece of footage is to examine join up, um, examine the, the principles of licking and chewing, and to uh, dispel some myths, as well as uh, add to the equation my system of join up that I have adapted and developed the system of join up that was invented 200 years ago in Australia and used all the way through by the uh, Australia's master horsemen um, and one of those I will show um, very very effective for that and that's the only, only real use I see with it but um, I'm just going to cut now pick up the manure in this yard as a professional before I try and join up with this particular horse. Okay. Welcome back. None of these uh, unbroken horses know how to lunge. It's just a matter of chasing them around the round yard. <laughs> and I'm not using whips on this horse today. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. She's a good girl. Loss of concentration only. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. Don't eat the bile. Just stick with us, girl. Good girl. And this is where my system, from a, from a starting point of view, and a re-education of the problem horse with vices comes in comes into line in head of most that I've, that I've met. Good girl. And you are a cocky one, aren't you? You are a cocky girl. I've met four four cocky girls in a row. Just like you. 2013 must be the year of the cocky girls. Must not. A bit like the human race. To give you other steps to take uh, in the preparation of your uh, breaking your horses in, and one of the most important and the first step that you should take on day one is to join up with with the horse that you're going to break in. Good girl. Good girl. She thought about then. Good girl. Look how smart this horse is. Look at the intelligence. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Now, reward the heck out of the horse. Really reward her to let her know what she's done is good because she doesn't know what we want. She doesn't know why we're tapping her in the backside and stirring her up. Never had that in her life. And the fact that I have rewarded her, been her friend, and actually have my back towards her and, and talking to you is what join up is all about. Because they then investigate you, they check you out. She's saying to herself, who the hell is this bloke? He must be a leader. 
will often notice with horses that I work on that, that the horse will start to... But the properly joined up horse, you don't even need a lead rope. I can now put a bridle on her. I can, I can go to put a roller or something on her. And if she walked away, I would just repeat, repeat. And in the end, she won't walk away no matter what you do. You can even put a saddle on her with no lead rope. You put lead rope on though. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay, thanks very much. And we'll be back with a, another subject soon. Good girl, good girl. So this, uh, this horse is, uh, was dumped in a paddock, based in New South Wales for five years, 13 years old, arrived in Western Australia, no one knows why or how, and was neglected and was rescued by Second Chance uh, Horse Rescue here in Perth, who do a wonderful job uh, to the horses, horses of this state and should be supported. Um, we're here to assess this horse and we, we, we know nothing about him. So, um, so he's got a, a breathing problem, a throat problem. Now, yesterday, he's a lovely boy. If I had a carrot here, I'd actually give it to him right now. <laughs> so no, uh, no sport horse home, okay? All right, thank Raphael. He's a lovely boy, isn't he, eh? He's a lovely boy. Oh, so you mean he's about the carrot? Yes, thank you. <laughs> but, know, I, but I want to... Thank you very much. But I want to give it to him, here. Yeah, he knows you've got them. <laughs> you come here with me. Here. I'll take your bridle off. No, no, you don't need it. All right, I'll give you half. I won't make you wait. Hey, you take a bridle off, like that. He's a lovely boy, isn't he, eh? All right, okay. This particular profile of a horse, uh, before I mail her, I will, even though uh, there's absolutely no difficulty in catching this horse, it's all over you like a rash, I just want a little bit more um, more respect. Can, can, you, can you see my stop whip? And, and so I'm going to um, just see if, if she will turn on the fence uh, without turning her bum to me. Good girl, good girl. Good girl. Did that get your attention? Now all of this, all of this shaking. You don't need to put a lead rope on if you're putting equipment on and stuff like that. It's a good idea, but but in reality, you 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 really don't need a lead rope to uh, work with an unbroken horse. This is Max and he's a naughty boy. And he's an off the track thoroughbred and he's very exuberant and, um, and he um, was a dangerous horse and Fred sorted him out for the owner. But uh, he's had a spell, and every time he has a spell, he needs a little, little tune-up and a reminder, a few, a few reminders, because he, he's a cocky type, as you can see, cocky in attitude, uh, high, high in intelligence, I can see, extremely high IQ, and a uh, character, no doubt, uh, and with a touch of ADD <laughs> as well. Now, the greatest thing you learn 
hopefully when you watch um, horse trainers, is timing. Timing is everything, and timing is what um, what allows horses to. Um, good girl, she's a lovely girl. Uh, to understand what it is we want. And the value of timing is so important in horse trading, it's just unbelievable. It's all, all these people and hiding down behind rails and, and all of that stuff, and to be able to concentrate on me and, and be able to concentrate on, on what it is that I'm trying to convey to the horse, uh, it just shows you how brilliant. Because I can't even listen in a crowded room, and yet the horse can. Catch ya, Millie. You're yeah, a lovely girl. And turn her bum away uh, from us, whereas we want her to turn into us when she turns on the fence. Don't you? Huh? Um, and you can see she has she has trouble um, accepting. Um, my approaches, um, now we could, again, very difficult at, uh, at these clinics to spend the time on raw horses such as this, to have the time to really go to town on them, but um, <coughs> we could this uh, this backside business. Um, now you can see she obviously is getting more less worried because she she's looking at people over there and I'm around here. Now what should, did she do? Thought about it, didn't she? Now, again, as I said, round yard too big. <laughs> Good girl. Lovely girl. Okay, go. Good girl. Just on. I do need to lunge her though. Now, did you, what, what did you see? Well, now there's another result. I can start to control this horse simply because of uh, me fixing the join up, join up a little bit yesterday by accident. You see one of the results. I can actually stop her on the lunge even though I can't reach her um, without a rope. But over here, what did you see that horse think? Did anyone see the horse think anything over here? Yes, Clo a bit closer. And she's looking outside of the circle less. But again, with the big round yard, very difficult. And with no oxygen. <laughs> we go. Now, the other thing that um, the other thing with a reactive one like this, believe it or not, um, is to join up with them. Um, good boy, good boy. Now, okay, did you all see what happened then? Now, if I had, I have missed that that one look he gave me. I would have been a fool, wouldn't I? I wouldn't even deserve to be here because I would have missed the greatest chance in the world. Um, to because he wanted to come in and he asked me permission to come in and he, and he said to me, how do I do HP with that little trot around, was that pretty good and, and is, is that enough now? Um, so I'm working with you and, and 
Will you accept that? Well, well I, I did. He's a good boy. Now... In the saddle, um, and, and we may have completely, completely fixed this horse, but whoever rides him in the future are not going to want to make any, make any mistakes, believe me. And if they don't have their rein handling uh, speed and understanding up to, up to control, they'll, they'll ruin him. And if they go two reins, they'll ruin him. Um, if they don't truly care for him and let him know and win him, they'll ruin him and he'll regress back to his former state. But uh, he's, this, this is a saved, totally uh, saved horse. Um, and um, and, and, and he, he, there he is agreeing with, you, with me and telling you um, that he loves me. All right? And you can't say any, any more than that. Give him a round of applause. It's enough to bring it to you to your eye, isn't it?